Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. In my last video, I reviewed a Philly cheesesteak sandwich from the cheesesteak shop. Ha! Got it right. I always say cheesecake shop. But anyway, in the comments, three or four people said, well, you know, that looked okay, but I bet you can make a better uh, cheesesteak in your toaster oven. So I'm taking on the challenge. Although, I looked around this morning and all the steaks cost an arm and a leg, so I'm just going to use ground beef in this and see how it turns out. So let's get toasting. This is kind of going to be the poor man's version of cheese steak. Um, <laughs> I'm going to use this 93% lean, 7% fat ground beef. So probably just use about half a pound of that. I also have a green bell pepper, a red bell pepper, an onion. I'm going to cut a little bit of that up put it in there in the cast iron skillet and get that into the toaster oven together. And for cheese, my uh, stepson uh, was in the military and he was on the East Coast for a while. And he said the best cheese steaks he had were made with Cheese Whiz. So I'm gonna try the Cheese Whiz for the cheese today. I put about half of that ground beef in the cast iron skillet there, so half a pound of it. I'm gonna season it with a little bit of kosher salt and a little bit of pepper and just a little bit of onion powder and just a little bit of garlic powder. Alright, and then I'm gonna put my peppers and onions in there and uh, just kind of mix this together and then we will get it into the toaster oven and hopefully this will cook in um, kind of even amount of time. I've never tried this so hopefully the meat and the peppers and onions will cook in about the same amount of time. I guess we'll see what happens. I set my oven to bake at 450 degrees Fahrenheit and we'll get those in there and let them cook. It's been about 10 minutes and it smells pretty good. I think I'm going to stir it up some and then just put it back in. It's been about 25 minutes and I have pulled this out and stirred it up twice. I think that looks pretty good. I like just a little bit of crunch in the peppers so I'm going to get them out of there now. This looks like it turned out good. This lean ground beef has very little fat in it. So all that juice you see in the pan right there I think is just from the peppers and onions. So I'm not even going to drain that. Um, I have this nice fresh, I think it's called a Bolijo roll. I got at the Sprouts Market, freshly baked. So I'm just going to cut that in half and make a sandwich with it. I think I'm going to toast my roll. I'm trying to figure out the best way to heat up my, te my cheese whiz here. I thought about uh, just dumping it into the pan, but I think maybe I'll just put some in this little cast iron melting pot and heat it up then I can just pour it right over the top of the sandwich. <laughs> we'll see how that works. Well that looks pretty good so far. Now we just need our melted cheese whiz so let me grab it. There we go. Look at that. Oh yeah. That looks good. Worked pretty good melting it in this little uh, cast iron pot, although I could have just mixed it in with the, the meat and the peppers right in the pan that would have worked, but I think that looks better. <laughs> nice! Well that looks pretty good to me. I gotta taste this thing and see how I did. Man, that is pretty darn good. The Cheese Whiz really does make these good. I really like that Cheese Whiz. And you know, it's pretty darn good with hamburger. I mean, ground beef as well. You really don't have to have steak. I mean, steak would be nice, but I think if you make this, you wouldn't be complaining. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.